What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back on Need for Speed 2015 and this is the start of my Let's Play now. You're probably wondering, why have you already picked your first car? Obviously I picked the BRZ. Basically, I'm not going to do a normal Let's Play because... I'm not normal. So as you probably have seen on YouTube, there has been a million, a tillion, there's been loads of Let's Plays being done on this game. So I'm not going to do a full Let's Play, I'm kind of going to do a quick Let's Play. And you'll see what I mean throughout this Let's Play. It's going to be a quick play, so to speak, and you'll, you'll see that. So basically what I did was I started the game, um, I went through a few cheesy cutscenes. You're on probation. I'm out. Then um, I beat a few people. I picked a car, which obviously was the BRZ, and then did a few more cheesy cutscenes, and now we're here. And that's basically what happened. <laughs> um, and now we have the BRZ, we're in the garage, um, the game has basically just started. If you don't know what happened in the story, um, then honestly, I would rather save that for you. I don't want to ruin it too, uh, like, completely. I will be showing a few cutscenes here and there, just because I feel like it kind of makes sense. It's a let's play. But I'm not going to be showing loads and loads of spoilers, because again... I don't know, I want you guys to play through the game. It's, it's a really good experience. So it's going to be a relatively free spoiler um, let's play. So just, yeah. So now we've got all that out of the way, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into a race. So obviously this is the BRZ. I think one thing we're going to do before we start is actually paint this. So obviously in the wrap editor, I've used this many, many times before. Um, we're going to go ahead and apply. Obviously, we've got the stock ones here, or we can make our own. I think we're going to make our own because all those looked really, really boring. So, we're going to go ahead and make this kind of a satin black. You'll see what I mean very, very shortly. I kind of want it to have a blue outline. Like, you know that's you've got that typical Subaru blue? I kind of want it to be like satin blue. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Um, it's not really what I wanted at all, but we're going to get rid of this car soon anyway. So, let's just go ahead and use that. Okay, now if we're going to go over here, we can go and adjust the stance. I am planning to get rid of this car pretty ASAP. Like, I don't really want to be rolling around in a stock BRZ for an awfully long time. Um, then we, Although we are going to do a few things to it, and I'll obviously show you that uh, very, very shortly. So we've stanced that out now. That's fine. Uh, that's basically it for the visual customization. I guess we could put a spoiler on. Just so it looks a bit, you know... You know what, we'll go ahead and, and pop the stock, stock spoiler on, just so it looks like an actual BRZ. <laughs> and as well as that, we're going to go ahead and put NOS on. First thing I recommend you guys to do when you get Need for Speed is put NOS on. Um, I think it's actually released yesterday in the US, and it's releasing tomorrow in the UK and in Europe and all other places. So, first thing I um, suggest you guys to do is get the timed NOS. You can do the action NOS if you want to, but I just prefer using the timed NOS. It's just my personal preference. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to go ahead and put a tune on. Now, I'm going to kind of put my default tune on. I always say it with quotation marks, because there is no default tune. But I'm just going to kind of guess this is what we want. I'm going to turn all that off. Uh, and that looks to be about it. There we go. That's the tube we're going to roll with, and that's the car we're going to roll with for now. It is going to change, I guarantee, in the next few episodes. But that's what we're going to roll, roll with today. And that's what we're going to do the first few races in. So, let's do this. Okay, so here we are. Look how mean that BRZ looks. That looks very mean indeed. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go into this race. I could fanboy about how the game looks for days. But instead, we're going to go into a race and see how this BRZ handles. Now, um, I use this at the EA event I went to, uh, right at the start, and it was pretty goddamn good. It was very weird. It was kind of tw a bit twitchy, and you'll see, I'm, I'm sure you guys will see that uh, throughout this video. Obviously, I've only got a NOS in the car, so it's not really anything particularly special, um, but all we've got to do is beat Spike, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, one thing I've got to say, they really did well with Need for Speed, is the soundtrack. Now, honestly, I would have liked to seen a bit more rock and a bit more rap uh, after kind of going through it, a bit kind of... Um, like, a 2000s rap, that would have been really cool. That would have really hit my nostalgia bones. But I think they've really done a good job with the soundtrack. Um, both the engine of the cars, and how the cars sound, and the actual OST. Oh, as you can see, I'm using the drift cam. Oh, no, 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 and I'm not doing very well with it. 
yeah, the drift cam is something which is really weird. I think you'll enjoy it after getting used to it. It's one of those things that you really need to try out before you judge. Um, because it really does help you kind of look into the corners before you drift into them. Um, it feels like, it, I don't know, it just, it's a very good camera to use. Definitely try and use it if you can. Um, it's very hit and miss. It's like Marmite. Some people love it, some people hate it. And that's okay. You know, everyone's got their own opinions. So, you know, if you don't like it, then you've got plenty for the cameras to you. But definitely give it a try. You know, it's one of those things which I thought it looked absolutely mad at E3. And that is definitely the case. It's, it's, it's pretty mad. Coming into this corner. Coming in sideways. Because you... Oh, oh! Drifting is so much more fun than uh, grip. As in, like, the hand wing tuning and spikes taking me. That's not good. Don't pl Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Okay, sideways. <laughs> I love how they balance grip and drift so well. Like, if you are in a grip car, you can legit do well. It's a it's a learning curve, definitely, if you're coming from a, from a drift car. But you can really do well. They, they've really balanced it, oddly, quite quite well. It, it, it's really weird. I think it's something you have to get used to. You have to get used to grip and drift because they're very much different handling styles. Like, almost different physics. It feels like a different physics engine when you go into both, but... It's definitely something you can get used to. Anyway, enough of me rambling that we came first, obviously. We got four grand out of it. And um, we've got a new personal best, obviously, because it's the first race I've actually done. <laughs> okay, so now we're here. So we've unlocked front bumpers, as you, as you can see in the top left, as well as some tyres. And there is a free part around here, too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and press R R1 on that. And go ahead and redeem that. Now, we're going to save these free parts. I feel like that's probably the clever thing to do. There's no point dumping in it as into our starter car because we're probably not going to use this an awful lot. So, uh, should we get into a police pursuit? No, it's not worth it yet because we haven't done the outlaw section. So, we're not going to do that yet. Um, I'll tell you what we will do, though, is we're going to do one of Amy's missions. For the basic reason, you get customization parts. And customization parts are love customization parts are life okay so here we are at a sprint race so again it's an easy sprint race i imagine it's just a race on the freeway i guess we'll see very very shortly <laughs> um but it just should be no it shouldn't be an issue all we've got to do is run it so we just got to finish the race and then we're good to go so yeah let's do this spike has already called me literally i just left you i know i'm cute and stuff but like chill <laughs> Okay, okay, cool, man. I, I don't really care. Please go. So, um, Amy. Now, Amy's a very, very weird one. Obviously, at the start, the cars aren't that, you know, that powerful. Um, it's not like Underground 1 or Underground 2 where everyone starts off in golfs and then you gradually progress. It's very much uh, everyone's in their own cars and then the, how powerful the cars are depend on how powerful your car is. So, it, everything's matched. Now, as you can see, Amy's car at the moment, not very fast because I'm in a stock BRZ. However, later on, you'll see that thing becomes OP. There's one race called Component Parts, which I remember playing on the Xbox One version during EA Access and yesterday, actually. I c no, that took me so long to complete because Amy is just OP. I don't know what she did to that 240SX or 180SX, but... It's definitely got some type of VTEC in there because that thing flies. Absolutely flies. The magical power of the VTEC engine. But yeah, I, like I don't, I don't, in all seriousness, the, the rubber banding on that car, sometimes it's just a bit bit ridiculous. Um, and you'll, you'll see that very later. But it's, it's kind of funny ridiculous. Like, it's still beatable, don't get me wrong. You just need to upgrade your car and good, be good at racing games. And I'm not bad, so... We shouldn't run into too many issues. I wonder how long it's going to take for me to actually get a perfect moment during this Let's Play. Because it is pretty goddamn hard to get a perfect moment. That's the one thing you'll notice when you're playing Need for Speed. Is that, you know, perfect moments are very, very hard to come by. Very hard to come by. As even It doesn't matter how good you are at the game. It's very much luck based. And, you, you know, you, you'll see that throughout the Let's Play. Anyway, that looks like that's the end of this race. Another four grand. As well as the daily challenge. I'm not so if, sure if you saw that in the top left. Uh, oh, 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 wait. My, 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 my webcam is in the top left. Never mind. Um, yeah, but we did the daily challenge. It said that in the top left. Um, so we should have quite a bit of money now. And I might actually get rid of the BRZ already if I can. We have 19 grand. So... I thought we could have, I thought we had slightly more, but 19 grand, that's good. We're earning money fast. Uh, uh, Amy sent us a message. What's she got to say? Do you, want, you want me to do another race with you? Okay. Okay, Manu has given us a call. Let's answer that because you haven't done any race, uh, races with us yet. 
Okay, so you want me to do something with you? That's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and press R1. Oh, oh, and the outlaw section has been unlocked. Yay! So the outlaw section actually is really good. And you'll see that later, um, and we're going to do that at some point in the future. But today, probably just going to focus on the build and the speed storylines. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into this. Run a sprint race with aim. We can see the popo -po up in the front there as well. Um, come on, please. There we go. Okay, so we are now in the race. It's just me and Amy. I've just got to run it. I haven't actually got to win. So again, should be pretty straight forward. I don't know what car to go for next. Actually, down below, let me know what car you want me to go for next. Preferably something JDM, maybe an RX-7 or uh, an R34. Something across those lines. Um, I'm going to recreate my R32 at some point during this Let's Play. But, um, you know, it's preferably something JDM. And I'll probably go through it. Maybe an E30 even. That's not JDM, but, you know, an E30 is a very nice car indeed. But, yeah, let me know what car you want me to go with, um, you know, obviously when I get rid of this BRZ. Probably in the next episode, because I'm going to do a lot off camera. In terms of, you know, building money and whatnot. Okay, boys. So, we, at the moment, we have 0. Almost, well, not almost 0. 0.5 miles to go. And Amy's VTEC is slowly kicking in. You can see her creeping up on the map. We're going to see if we can drift around here. Oh, that was a poor drift. Oh, that, I don't know what happened there. Amy's in the lead. Oh, my God. We were in the lead for the whole of that race. Amy fucked up. Amy fucked up. Okay, well, we're, we're just going to capitalize. Yay, that's another four grand, hopefully. Is it four grand? It best be four grand. Yes, another four grand. Okay, so it's another four grand in the pocket. Let's go ahead, skip all this, please. And we're going to go ahead and go and meet the gang at the diner? Or should we go, should we do, st okay, the real question here, here is, do we go to Spike or do we go to Manu? I don't know. Let's go to Spike. No, let's get to Ma- I don't know. It, uh, these, are, these are the decisions of life, my friend. Let's go to Manu, because we haven't actually talked to Manu whatsoever so far. So, let's go ahead and do that. What? What? No. Let me tell you, right? Drifting is too safe. What? There's no buzz in it. There's not, man. Says who? Well, you? Come on, Amy, back me up. Uh, well, I kind of love it and hate it. Like, it hurts me to hear it bouncing off the limiter like that. But, but, I do get a rush when I'm holding it at that sweet spot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm out of here. You coming? Yeah. Okay. Peace. Later. Have a seat, man. He hates on the drift for one reason only. He sucks at it. <laughs> oh. You need a certain finesse to hold that slide or hoon with precision. It's all about riding the tipping point. Am I right or am I right? You're never wrong. Look, I get it. Apples and oranges, you know? Ah. Uh, you see, Robin here, she's got class. Got that steady hand. Hmm. Spike, he be yanking on the e-brake like a teenager fresh out of driver's head. <laughs> Come on, he's not that bad, Manu. It's just a good thing his old man has deep pockets is all I'm saying. Look, we've been talking too much. I'm out. And when has that ever been a problem? Well, it's a problem. We're standing here yapping about it and not actually out there doing it. Look, I'm putting a little something together. Nothing concrete yet, but... You've had enough zen, I need a little noisy chaos. <laughs> cool. I'll give you a shout. Later. <laughs> Always ahead of the curve, that girl. Yeah, stuff just happens when she's around, you know? <laughs> Either way, you should try your arm smoking rubber with the Ventura base set. Mm. Yeah. I'll call you. Get you hooked up with the local scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so that was the first real cutscene you guys have seen in this Let's Play. Um, and a very good one, actually. That was one of the better cutscenes in the game. Um, it wasn't overly cringy. It was kind of cringy at the point where they were mentioned about the limiter. But it's not awful. Like, I'm not going to lie. It does get a lot more cringier in some of the parts. Um, but with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go straight into this Amy rate. And then I think we're going to call it a day. So, yeah, let's go ahead and teleport there. Okay, so here we are at this drift contest. Now, the earlier drift contests, I don't know what they did, but it's really, really easy. I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna tell you straight, guys, it's easy AF. And you'll see that, you'll see that. Um, they usually don't get many points, if any. Um, so this should be relatively easy, especially as we have a drift build. Um, you can see that we're basically gonna get around 3,000 points each corner. Um, some of these earlier uh, drift events, because we don't have too much power, is literally just yanking the e-brake and hoping that we get some points. Um, you can see that it's not awfully... Like, we're not keeping a lot of power through the drift, just because we don't have much power in the car. Now, with that being said, look at the leaderboard. You can see that I, I, I haven't really got to do much. I'm just kind of, you know, left trigger, handbrake, right trigger and then I'm drifting, and then I'm getting more points than everyone else. It's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. Drifting as a whole, um, as it, it takes a while of getting used to, depending on, obviously, what build you have. Um, but especially with the build I have on this right now, not particularly hard. Not particularly hard at all. All right, we're going to see if we can get 9K in one drift here to end on 100,000. I lost all my... Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, if I didn't crash, I could have... Come on, Drift. Did we get 100k? We got 100k! Okay, that doesn't actually mean anything, but that makes me feel really good about myself, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> okay, so Amy, you can call me later. We're gonna go ahead and go into the garage and see what we can afford, because I'm definitely gonna be buying a new car very soon. Okay, so now we're in the garage, go ahead and go over to the cars. Now, I'm just gonna look quickly through the car list, just kind of refresh my brain about what's actually on the car list. So, obviously, the Supra, always an option. The 180SX, ooh. Maybe, maybe. Um, we've got the 240Z, we got obviously the Fox Body, but I'm not gonna pick that because that was one of the start car options. We got the RX7, uh, the Challenger, the 86, the FRS, the BRZ, which we already have, uh, the new MX5, Sylvia, 2000 GTR, SC. There's so many good cars in this game. What I might do is I might save up for an R34 and then put the e Siders kit on. I might go ahead and make that vinyl. I'm really tempted to go ahead and make that vinyl. Or some type of hero car. Okay, this is my question for next episode. Is what hero car should I remake? Now, the car, let's say the max I'm going up to price-wise is the BMW M2. So just to quickly show you through all the cars, just in case you haven't already got the game. Uh, M2, I'm just going to quickly scroll through them while I'm talking. So... Any of these cars, I'm going to recreate a hero car from a previous Need for Speed game as long as it's not awfully hard. <laughs> um, don't particularly want to do the M3 GTR just because I've already got that on the Xbox One. However, I'm open to suggestions, so make sure to leave it down below. And I'm going to recreate one. I think it's, I think it'd be a cool idea. You know, the, we've got the Battle Machine RX-7. We've got uh, loads of cars we could possibly recreate. So... Let me know down in the comments down below. What do you guys want to see recreate? Or maybe you don't want to see anything be recreated and you just want me to buy a different car which no one else has bought. Let me know down in the, down in the comments down below. I'm going to use a majority vote as well as something I actually want to do. I'm not going to buy a car I don't want to buy. So make sure you keep that in mind while you leave in your comments. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like, subscribe. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.